I want to take a few minutes to tell you about the Royal Navy and Royal Marines charity and what it does to help you, your families, your shipmates and your oppos. It's your charity, whether you're dark blue or love it. And it's there to help you not just during your time in the naval service, but throughout your entire life. For many of you, although you may not know it, it's already touched your own lives for the better. It provides much of the funding that helps to improve your welfare and quality of life, whether you're deployed away from home or serving ashore. The charity provides gym and sports equipment in your ship or unit. Everything from deck hockey sticks to hang gliders. It even provides footballs, if that's your thing. Narrowboats, bowling alleys, even support for activities at the Naval Outdoor Centre in Bavaria have all benefited from the charity. It also gives grants to support a range of social activities that are not only good for morale and unit cohesion, but also the source of many fond memories, not to mention a few good dits. It's not just there for fun, fitness and AT, it's also there for you and your dependents when times aren't so good, whether you are still serving or not. In the event of a death in service, the nominated dependent on JPA will receive a sum of £12,000 tax-free, normally paid within 48 hours. It also focuses its support on those affected by life-changing injuries, not only personnel injured in combat, but those who receive injuries in the course of operations on and from the sea. The charity also gives financial support to a range of naval and other service charities. For example, it supports the Royal Naval and Royal Marines Children's Fund, which undertakes outstanding work to support the children of serving men and women. Then there's the Royal Naval Benevolent Trust, the charity for junior and senior ratings, which receives well over £1 million a year. And the charity supports St Dunstan's for blinded ex-service personnel, combat stress and SSAFA forces help, to mention just a few. The charity brings practical help for the serving, money, reassurance, comfort and hope for those who need help later in life, as well as those making the most of their careers today. How much does all this add up to? Well, in 2011, the charity plans to give out around £5 million, all to help you make the most of the good times and to weather the tough times. Perhaps you can help yourself by helping them. How about it? I know how much you already do for your affiliated charities, a sponsored rowing machine marathon while the boat crosses the Atlantic, racing the ship down the Suez Canal, cycling the equivalent distance from Norway to Dorset in the ship's hangar, running marathons, beard growing and even a lag waxing competition. You've done it all. So next time you raise money for a good cause close to your heart, why not donate some of it to the one charity exclusively dedicated to looking after you? Let's follow the RAF's lead and aspire to have nearly 90% of you signed up to the payroll giving. At these levels, the RNRMC will be giving back an extra £1.4 million more to you, your mates and the causes that will help you every year. It's so easy. £1 a week, or more if you like, is all that's asked. Go on, help yourself by helping them.